Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News, starting as usual with Fascinations, the in-color Ford models that have been sitting in the coming soon page have now moved over to what's new. You can now find all of those models on online, and Innova Toys has them in stock already, as probably of a lot of other places as well. So it looks like all the talk that we've had about these in-color Ford models and the red models from Hobbytown are all now available. And even the Hobbytown models are available on that one particular store on Amazon. And you can see last week's video for links to that. That also means that the Coming Soon page is completely empty. However, if you go to MetalEarth.com, the link for what's coming soon has been probably temporarily, temporarily removed. The webpage is still there. If you type in metalearth.com slash coming soon, you can still get to the page. There's pretty much nothing on coming soon and underneath is a bar for what's new. But yeah, it's surprisingly empty. If you go to the Fascinations website, fascinations.com, they still have link to coming soon and it just shows an iconics display thing coming up because honestly fascinations.com is more for the retailer side of things, MetalEarth.com is more for the consumer side of things. I do want to take a moment to talk about a Reddit post that popped up within the last week and it was a partial screenshot of an older video of mine focusing on some ME Lite models that Metal Earth had teased about at a toy fair back in 2016. The original picture is actually from At Play Toys Instagram because they had went to the toy fair and saw these models. Now this is a toy fair type situation and it's more for I believe retailer side of things than the consumer side of things and it's to drum up interest or the gauge interest in a product from what I understand. Well, this picture was from 2016 and it showed some Emmy Light models and I'll show you a picture here and those models never actually came to be. I just assumed that they were an early version of the Legends models and that things were modified for whatever reason. I did get a little information from an unnamed source at Fascinations that basically says that the models were just that. They were sample models brought to the toy fair to kind of gauge interest. The feedback, interestingly enough, was that they looked too easy and so they never actually went into production. It, I guess they did get a redesign and the Legends models were a bigger hit with retailers, so that's what was brought to market. I, again, I think this was kind of an early version and some changes were made and what we ended up with was the Legends models and they also changed the name because I don't think I don't think they like the Emmy Light name either. It's interesting how that popped back up after so much time has passed. I remember I remember before the Legends models came to be, I used to get a lot of my models from your Toy Mart and they had teased that something new was coming. And I, the way they had phrased it, I can't remember the phrasing that they used, I thought the ME Light models are finally coming to pass. And when the Legends models came out, I kept wondering, well, where did the ME Light models go? And I've always kind of wondered why we never got the Boba Fett, because I think Boba Fett would be really cool. But that kind of leads into the next thing I want to comment about. There have been some rumors floating around that Metal Earth is working on a full body version of Boba Fett and Darth Vader. Now these are unconfirmed, can't confirm them, but there's been enough rumors floating around that I can't help but to say something. So if it means that we didn't get the tiny little Boba Fett because they were working on a full size Boba Fett, I'm okay with that. Being a Star Wars fan, I think that's probably a wonderful option. I know a lot of people are tired of the Star Wars models, but at the same time, we keep hitting Star Wars models because there's a lot of people like myself that are really excited about them. So, it's it's exciting that that's a possibility. One would hope that maybe they won't stop there, but again, this is unconfirmed and just rumors at this point. I keep rattling on about Metal Earth, but there is one more thing I want to comment on. Being paranoid about all of these things hitting the retiring list, very recently, I did check the list again this week to see if anything new had popped into retiring. And I didn't see anything new. As a matter of fact, the Doctor Who models that I talked about last week being on the retiring list are no longer there. I don't know what that's about. 
they never actually showed up on the retiring list on the metal earth side of things they only showed up on the fascination side of things but now they're not showing up on any of the lists as retiring though the silver canine is still showing up as retired on the fascination side of things not sure what's going on there but as always i'll be keeping an eye on that and definitely do so yourself you can either go to fascinations.com right now and they have a retiring list link or just go to metalearth.com slash retiring from there we go to peace cool and i talked uh, recently about several new peace cool models coming out we had uh, a four set of kind of odd figures as well as the southern gate we had an uh, optimus a king kong golden wings and southern gate were all showing up and then they also added a Terminator model from the new Terminator movie that's coming out. Now the Optimus and the King Kong basically they they're some sort of like warrior figure type soldier things and they kind of have a hint of Transformers in them. Talked about that in a previous video and I got a lot of questions about where I can find them and I and I should make it more clear a lot of times when I announce stuff that's coming from Peace Cool it's coming, but it's not for sale yet, and you just have to kind of keep an eye out for when it's going to be available. But I bring that up because as of yesterday, I did notice all five of these models were showing up at numerous places, numerous stores on AliExpress, including Crazy Toys AliExpress store, and they're also showing up on crazytoys.co.uk. There's links in the description down below where you can find all those models. There were several of you that had asked about that, and now you can order them. Otherwise, on AliExpress, looking at all the favorite stores that I usually look at, nothing else is new, just these Peace Cool models that a lot of people have been asking about are now available. Do want to remind everyone that there is a sale coming up in a few days, the 11-11 sale. Several stores that sell Metal Earth, or 3D Metal models, I should say, because they don't really sell Metal Earth on AliExpress. Several stores that are selling 3D Metal puzzles or Metal models are taking part in this sale so if there's models you're looking for you can go to a few of the stores and check out the their 11 11 sale and plan on ordering something ahead of time or plan on what you're going to get i do suggest that you probably shop just because one store has it discounted by 20 some percent doesn't mean another store's regular price isn't almost the same if not cheaper i did run into that myself there are a couple of models that i'm looking at getting couple of request models that why not save a little money and one of the stores I looked at their discounted price was maybe 50 cents less than another store's regular price it looked like a good deal on their site but their site was marked up normal price was marked up so shop around don't just take the first store unless you're concerned about whether or not you'll get the model which that I totally understand and respect also I want to point out thanks to CodeWiki for pointing this out if you have the AliExpress app on the phone, their mobile version has a little silly little game that you can play that you can earn more coupons for different stores. It's like a little dice game. You roll the dice, you move on the board, it'll take you to different stores where you can save a coupon. And if you visit other stores, you can get more dice rolls with the possibility of racking up quite a few coupons. Although a lot of these coupons on AliExpress are a dollar or two dollars, you may want to play it. Make sure you have the latest version of the app. Make sure it's updated. I didn't at first and couldn't find it. I updated the latest version. There it is. If I have the time, I may play it. I think I've got a couple of coupons, but they were to stores that I probably would never shop at. But anyway, sharing that bit of information because who wouldn't want to save a buck? And one last thing I want to mention last during the last week, CodeWiki on uh, MetalEarthBuilder.com posted a sort of poll asking about what kind of models you would like to see in the future. And I bring this up as a very interesting poll. You can see his results. A number of people have already voted on it. There's a, an array of different possible questions that he's asked for different categories. And from what I understand, Metal Earth is actually keeping an eye on this poll to see what people they're interested in. So this is a good chance, I think, to have your voice heard and vote on what you would like to see. to see if you can get fascinations to make it. Some interesting questions on there. Or interesting options. What Metal Earth Iconics models do you want to see in the future? Pick up to 10. And yes, you can pick 10 different things. You don't have to limit it to one. Uh, just to read a few. Can we get some more Star Trek models? Reboot the line and bring us Voyager, DS9, or Discovery? I'm actually kind of on the fence about that. I really like Star Trek. I'm a big Star Trek fan, but 
some of those dishes don't always translate real well into these metal models. You can't take the sky for me. I want to build Serenity. Yes, I definitely vote for that one. I'd love a Firefly model. Robots. I want more robots. Johnny Five, Wally, the robot from Lost in Space. Not a bad idea. Dragons, more dragons. You know Star Wars has a TV series too, right? Let's see some models from the Mandalorian, Clone Wars, Rebels. I need a Hogwarts castle to go with my Hagrid's Hut and Weasley's Burrow, which I think is currently a very popular one. High on the list of what people are checking. There's quite. I'm not going to read them all, but there's just a sample of a few interesting ones. My band needs more instruments. How about some horns? Not to get too gender stereotypy, but there are female builders too. Let's get some roses, cottages, carriages, maybe even a dollhouse theme. There's quite a few different things on there. So if you have a time, there's a link in the description down below. Go take a poll and choose the ones, the kind of models or categories you would like to see coming up. Again, Fascinations has shared this on their Twitter page, I believe. So they are keeping an eye on the results. They are curious to know what do you want to see. So at the end of last week's video, I speculated somewhat heavily about the future of Metal Earth models that are coming. I talked about how the Coming Soon page was getting ready to be empty when all the Ford models moved over, and they have, and now it is. So what does that mean for the future? And I speculated quite a bit and kind of open discussion in the comments and got quite a few interesting responses. So as usual, I'm going to read some of those comments. Probably the one that stands out the most is from HV Rock 13. It's kind of long. Man, I'm so glad they're retiring all of these overpriced simple models like the Legends and just ancient models that we've all seen on shelves for a while. I say retire them and forget them and come up with some more interesting and painted models with more detail and just more variety and less Star Wars. Once they don't have these same old ones on hand to replenish retail locations with, maybe inventory will finally get updated in places like Hobby Lobby, the only place around me that you can even find these anymore. They've started only carrying one of each on the display rack, and half are Star Wars and a quarter of the rest are their low-quality house brand. Metal Earth needs to get on their retailers and push for them to keep up to date products so that the people browsing in stores don't just walk by seeing the same old selection. I've got so sick of bothering to even go check my local stores anymore. And that is a bit of a harsh bit of feedback, but there's definitely truth in there. When I first got into this hobby, the thing that got me into it was the Millennium Falcon. Being a big Star Wars fan, now this is contrary to this individual's apparent I don't want to say dislike of Star Wars, but tiredness of it. It was a Falcon that got me into it, and I saw it on, I saw it online, and I was too nervous to buy it online. But then I saw it in my local AC Moore, and that's what got me into it. AC Moore had it; I could get coupons, I could get it for a decent price, and that's where, for the first year or two of me doing this channel is where 90% of my models came from was just getting them from Hobby Lobby and they had a large selection of models to choose from and I eventually bought everything that they had and when they started marking things down and stopped keeping up with the new stuff there was nothing left for me to buy so I certainly identify with the frustration that, that uh, HV Rock 13 has that we keep seeing the same models and you you I've done it too you go to AC Moore or Hobby Lobby or anywhere else that has models and you keep checking to see if there's something new and there's not or there's almost nothing and so there is there is a, there is something to be said about what this individual is getting at update the inventory so that we can start seeing new models it's a bit harsh but on that aspect yeah there's kind of a point there because the AC more has almost nothing anymore they've reduced things to just a like a thing at the end of an aisle by the registers and there's almost nothing there. And the only new things that AC Moore has gotten are the Game of Thrones models. There's so many things that they just they just don't get anymore. And it's unfortunate. And Hobby Lobby is not much different. Don't care for those house brands, which are basically uh, HK Nanyuan models, I, I think. And their selection is dwindled as well. Although 
AC Moore never did Iconics until the Game of Thrones, at least my local one. Hobby Lobby has had some Iconics, but it's like, what, three, four Iconics models out of the large amount that Battle Earth has. So there's something to be said there. And in response to that, Albert Fish commented they should have sold Legends cheaper or in a gift box with all the characters from the series. I was interested in the Looney Tunes ones, but wasn't going to buy each one separately for full price each. There are only one sheet models, so should be cheaper. I'm not sure which direction to go with that comment. Again, I think Albert has a point. There was a bit of a buy-in. Now, they were, they were cheaper than larger sheet models, but they still weren't dirt cheap. There was still a little bit of a cost to them, and I'm guessing I just got to figure that was because they're painted. Uh, there were sometimes you could find more than one in a box. I want to say at Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble may have had, but they, I don't think they had the entire set at any point, and they probably weren't that much cheaper. But that would have been an interesting strategy there as well. Now moving on to other comments, we have George Bell. I'm extremely new to this hobby, thanks in large part to your channel, but I get the feeling that you are onto something with what may be coming next. It does seem as if they are moving towards bigger, brighter, and more detailed models. It makes me think that maybe the Iconics line will be the new baseline, and there will be a new product line coming that will let them be more competitive with companies like MU that have the more challenging style of models on the shelves already. Just my two cents. Thank you for your great content. And that's an interesting thought. I do wonder myself if there definitely seems to be a trend to make things a little more challenging. I wonder if they're going to take it to that point where there's maybe a more challenging than Iconics line introduced. Albert Fish did make another comment outside of the response to H Rock 13. Albert Fish commented, I'd love to see more Iconics models from films like the Ecto-1 from the original Ghostbusters. Colored like the DeLorean would look amazing. Also, maybe some tools like a chainsaw or something highly detailed and colored would be very interesting and unique to have with other models. Being a bit of a geek, Ecto-1 would be amazing. And the original Ghostbusters Ecto-1 with the uh, uh, 60s-ish Cadillac rather than the... Um, 80s Cadillac from the newer movie. I'd love to see the original Ecto-1, but yeah. Nick Zelen Zelenik, apologize if I've got that incorrectly. I would, love to, I would love to see more helmets. The Star Wars helmets are awesome, but I think more Marvel helmets like Ant-Man, Spider-Man, and Black Panther would be an exciting addition to Iron Man's, which is already out. They could even add a few DC ones, too. We have a Red Keep Castle from Game of Thrones, so I think a Hogwarts, Hogwarts Castle would be aptly appropriate as well, along those same lines. We have had many Ford models come out. Being a Harry Potter fiend, the Ford Ang Anglina would be a fine addition with the prequel series Fantastic Beast Arrival. I would personally like to see some creatures from the Wizarding World with Fascination's announcements of larger and more detailed models. And think about the car from Metal Earth. I'm guessing that's what the Angelina is, was the car that uh, the Harry and um, Ron stole, the flying car. That would be very interesting. And the idea of more helmet or bust figures of Marvel characters. We do have the, the Mark something, Mark 46 or 45 helmet. It would be interesting to have some other bust or helmet figures as well. Jay comments, another great vid, Brad. Thank you. Personally, I hope you're right. As someone who prefers the larger models, it would be nice to see Fascination step up their game. They may get some business out of me. I do agree that this could hinder newcomers to the hobby, though. Thanks again. I don't know that I could comment any more on that than what was already said, but yeah, it's it certainly would attract more people to that they have since they already have a pretty good established base out there. It would keep that base engaged if they have more complicated models, but they could easily do keep some simpler models to get people introduced to the hobby. Kevin T. Having built Yamato and the Missouri Battleship, I would love for them to do more ships. I would like to see added are the HMS Hood, the German Bismarck. I know Peace School has the Bismarck, but would rather get them through Metal Earth. I will be ordering them on 11.11. And I kind of agree with that. I have built the Missouri and the Yamato. 
and I really enjoyed those builds and I would like to get more battleships. I know there are a lot of options out there on AliExpress of other ships to build. The aircraft carrier was kind of nice, but I really like the battleships. I'd definitely like to do more. I was looking through the 1111 sale on one of the stores and they had a Russian battle cruiser for a pretty low price and I was like, man, I just kind of want to grab that just because. So I really do enjoy the look of the, the uh, battleships and such as well. Kobe Smith, hey Brad, another great video. Exciting to hear you're working on the Y-Wing. Very much looking forward to doing that one myself. Can't wait for your video and pointers. As far as what I think may be coming out next, since Disney Plus streaming service is on the horizon, I wonder if we will see some of the Mandalorian characters, weapons, or ships. And you know, that reminds me, uh, going back to what I was saying a few minutes ago, about Metal Earth Builder having that sort of poll, I want to say quiz, but poll, I believe that is one of the comments on there, or one of the options on there was to see some of the other Star Wars stuff, like stuff from The Mandalorian. You could definitely go take that particular quiz or poll and choose that option to let Fascinations know that's something you're interested in. And going back to Nick, Zelenak's comment about the Hogwarts castle. I believe that is another option in there as well. So to the both of you, go and vote on that poll and if you haven't already and let them know those are some things that you would like to see in the future. So with all of this speculation that I've done recently and all of these comments coming back, I don't want to open the question too wide this week or be too repetitive, but kind of focus down to with the idea that there may be a full body Boba Fett and Darth Vader on the way. Is that something you would be interested in seeing? And what other full body type figures would you like to see Metal Earth come out with? Leave your answers in the comment down below. I will leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. Uh, in response to a comment in a, a couple of weeks ago about a wish list on Innova Toys. I do have a wish list and I've started including a link to that in the description down below. There's another way you can support this channel. There's links to Patreon, there's links to Ko-Fi, and there's links to that wish list as well. I do greatly appreciate everyone who does support this channel, whether it be financially, through gifts, or just commenting on the videos. I appreciate every last bit of it. It is all important. It is all helpful. Thank you very much, and as always, keep on keeping on.